Varsity Club, welcome back to another classic. Big things are happening this week, and we got a couple of recruits visiting. That's good news. Derek Simpson, Andrew Hall, and Sean Anderson. Let's meet them. Now, Andrew Hall is a uh, center because all you guys are saying, recruit offensive linemen. I am. Right now, we're a little bit behind UVA, but I'm telling you, Andrew could be a really good player for our team. He's got 80 pass block, 81 run block, and 78 impact blocking. As a freshman, with how many seniors we have on our team in the offensive line, he could probably start. Next, we have Derek Simpson, a four star, six foot three, 254 pound athlete. Just like myself. We're currently in the first place spot for him, but again, there's a lot of way to go for the rest of the season. Uh, he's got pretty good speed and acceleration for what I assume is going to be an outside linebacker or an edge rusher or something of that nature. He's probably limited, but he's definitely a defensive side of the line guy. We just got to figure out where exactly he plays there. And last but not least, we have Sean Anderson, who we're currently in second place for a three star, six foot five, 286 pound guy out of Wisconsin. They make cheese there. The plus seven gem, which is a giant W for us. Again, defensive tackle, because again, you guys are saying recruit defensive line. I am. His acceleration is really good. He's got pretty good strength, I think, for a freshman coming in. Power moves, finesse moves, block shedding are all pretty good with good tackle as well and high play record pursuit. I, I think he'll be a good freshman. I do want to talk about a travesty happening right now. They removed John McConnell from the Heisman list. John McConnell has done nothing but absolutely dominate so far this year. Five touchdowns, one interception, passing the ball. He's got a couple things out there in the rushing side of the football. But they took this man off the list because we had a bye week. Are you kidding me? Mark my words. After today's game, he's back on the list. And while that list was a little bit negative, this one is positive. We see Clemson, Oklahoma, UNC, Miami, and Tennessee as our top five teams. And as you mosey your way down here a little bit, you're going to see us here at number 14. That's a W. Now, Wisconsin, who we played later in the year, is 13. If they keep moving up and then we play them and they're a top 10 team and we beat them, that's a W. It helps us get closer to the college football playoffs, which is really what our goal is this year. We need a chance to come out here and see how our offense is ultimately going to do. We got Barr, we got McConnell, we got all these dudes. What? On the first play? Jason Barr fumbles? Revoke his scholarship. Why is he breakdancing? Not only did we just have that happen, man, breakdance on us. Won't allow that. Oh my God, what kind of trick are they running right now? I'll take the style. Oh my God, we're in shape. Well, we're at home. We're fumbling on the first play. You got to be kidding me. I feel like Northwestern has always been a really tough team for us, no matter what. What a play by John Hall. I'll take everything negative I said back if he keeps playing like that. Right, let's see what these guys can do here. Third and eight. We know it's a pass play. Oh, just kidding. It's a run play. And Mullins. Mark Mullins is there. They're kicking a field goal. You better believe it. So Jason Barr has high expectations. People are talking about him wearing number eight this season, which he obviously didn't give. He gave it to John McConnell, who is more deserving. If we're being honest, he's done more for this team than anybody else has. And we had to make sure we show some respect. But Jason Barr is not off to a good start right now. Some of you are going to try to say, oh, he's not a between the tackle guy. No, he put on 20 pounds ish this season. The dude can run between the tackles. Everything's fine. John McConnell, though, he does throw dots. RJ Riley's been a really good receiver for us so far, leading us, I think, in yards and in receptions, which it's crazy for a true freshman to be out here doing. Oh, I don't like what we're seeing. We're getting rid of that one. That was kind of crazy. I thought we were going to have a guy deep in RJ Riley, but the corner ended up keeping up with him. Excuse me, the safety ended up keeping up with him a little bit, and McConnell does pick up six here, but we got a manageable third down. I think the biggest thing we've done with John McConnell this offseason is make sure that we limit how many big-time errors we have, and he's honestly done a really good job of not turning the ball over. You got to love it. Mark my words. After today's game, he's back on the list. It's like I queue it up. It's like I queue it up. I hate everything. I really do. I hate it. I hate it a lot. This is what I would call not a good start to a game. We fumbled in the very first play with our star running back. Our star quarterback, we jinxed him, and he threw an interception. I don't love what I'm seeing. YOLO. That was almost bad as well. Like on the same play, I'm talking about limiting mistakes with my quarterback. Throw a pick. You just, you just can't make it up. You literally can't. Can y'all block for this, man? This is really the best offensive line we've probably ever had. I mean, albeit when we had Mason Franks, Mason Franks was the highest rated one we've ever had. He was like a 95 overall. Absolute stud. But really, outside of Mason Franks, this is the best offensive line we've ever had. Fourth and one. God, I want to go for it. All right, so we punted it because... I'm a coward. I wanted to go for it, but it was too deep in our own territory. If we didn't get that one, they're going to score a touchdown pretty much guaranteed, and then we're literally crying to sleep. I can't have that right now. No shot. No shot. No shot, Northwestern. Hemphill, you're really fast. We're down. Almost 
about to be down 17 nothing to northwestern okay let's be honest this is what we wanted you know oh cascade valley's down big oh cascade valley can't do anything no we're coming back everything's gonna be fine i believe in our team that investment on robert roth picking up a reception for nine this might be some of the scariest stuff we've had right now like i really don't love what i'm seeing mcconnell with a little adjustment here RJ Riley, one of the best young route runners on our team, picks up 13 again. We got recruits in the house. This is how we're playing. I, I'm literally, I'm in disbelief. I'm in disbelief. Connell makes an adjustment. He's rolling. He's got his guy out there. And Jeremy Willis picks up 20. Man, Jeremy Willis has just been fantastic in his first couple of games for us. In the red zone, that dude has been absolute money. He's got a bunch of touchdowns already. With a little read option. Pitching this one out. And RJ Riley just got destroyed on that hit. It's one of those plays that I think if we hand it off to Jason Barr, he's in the end zone celebrating and dancing right now. But because we didn't, he has nowhere to do anything. It's like in a 15. Oh, they have been all over us. But look at McConnell out here bobbing and weaving. That's the Tisman moment right there. Bringing this team back. That's my quarterback. That's my quarterback. Respecting that young man's name. What a play by John McConnell to get this team back within 10. Now we just need to stop on defense and everything's good. They go with the underneath route. We're not surprised. They pick up a couple. That's covered a little bit. Second and three. We go with the run. I was about to say, what just happened? Bro, they really almost had a wide receiver run us over like that. It's crazy. We're sitting back with a pass. The quarterback's right. I wish he would fumble. We gotta get some stops, man. This is just a travesty at the moment. Oh my God. Ray Walton has a 46 tackle rate. And a lot of you guys want to hit a middle linebacker or outside linebacker or something. His tackle rate is like a 46 or 49. He's not playing there. Ray Walton is supposed to be a playmaker for us at safety. He can come up and make a couple tackles. He's got really good hit power. That tackle rating really is what keeps him from being a linebacker. Even at six foot four, how good he would be there. It's just, it's not gonna happen. But look at Matthew Fowler, the freshman come up there with a big hit. Like what I'm seeing on that play. Steven Lowe trying to get the crowd hyped up a little bit because Lord knows we need some help. We'll watch in the middle, watch the underneath routes. The quarterback's out here trying to run and he says no. He says no. Love what I'm seeing now, dropping our guys back a little bit. Play out in the coverage. Keep him in front of you, no first downs. That's what I want to see. Jesus Christ. Hemp Hill. Hemphill had one guy in front of him. I even bumped him back in coverage to say, look, all you got to do is just keep the dude in front of you. You couldn't even do that. I'm crying. Oh, my God. The quarterback. Oh, Jamal Patterson with the sack. Let's go. We need two more sacks from the defensive line to help our recruits get a little bit of a boost. That's big. God bless America. Help us. Play the pass. Maybe it's a run. They're switching their guy over a little bit. The quarterback is gassed right now. That's big. That means he's probably not going to run. Oh, we whiffed. Okay, that's fine. Third and, third and short. We're okay here. I'm nervous. We need to stop. We cannot give up a touchdown on this drive. We need to stop. We're watching the quarterback. We're going to get a sack. Looks like Patterson and company come back in there. We get another one, fourth and nine. I don't think they're kicking a field goal here. I think they got a punt. You're lining up for the field goal. This is deep. I mean, this is deep right now. They hit a 41 yard earlier, but this is a lot longer than that. Let's see what they do. This ball's up. This one is. Oh my God, it's good. Giving up a field goal isn't ideal, but it's so much better than honestly what it could have been. I love how our defense stood tall, got a couple of pressures there in that quarterback, and we're living because of it. Oh, here to Jeremy Willis is going to try to run a guy over, but that's not going to happen. The corner lights him up. First down again, McConnell. Can okay, get in the end zone? This one off here to Tom Baker. Tom Baker's doing what he can do, and Tom Baker makes some plays. First grab of the day there for Tom Baker. John McConnell still trying to get 100 yards passing in this first half. It's been rough for him so far. Jason Barr hasn't really seen the ball on the ground much today because he fumbled the last time we saw him do that. We want to make sure we don't become too one-dimensional, though. See McFadden come in. And he's splitting carries with Jason Barr a lot. He's going to get two. Send a Robert Roth deep. I don't know if there's safety help for him. Looks like there actually is going to be safety help. Tom Baker running a great route. We underthrow it a little bit. And he picks up seven or eight on that. If that pass isn't thrown to the run. It's definitely a first down and some more, but it is what it is at this point. 
Gonna go with Bar inside. Bar is gonna find a seam. Bar is gonna force through. And dear God, I'm praying he doesn't fumble every single time now. I'm nervous. Five and a half minutes left here in the first half. I like what I'm seeing. The team is bouncing back, playing really well right now. Little curl route here for Riley. He's gonna spin himself out of bounds, and I'll take the 15. Take what the defense is giving you and just get touchdown after touchdowns when we need right now. McConnell keeps this one. McConnell's got some room. John McConnell again in the end zone. What a crazy run up the middle. The great blocking we saw there. Wide receivers, offensive linemen. People can need the second level. Let him McConnell do what he does best. Exploited defense every time. Northwestern might have had a really hot start, but we've cooled their jets a little bit here. They seem to go back to the running game at all, which is really what their bread and butter has been. They're locking on the passing game, and what a great route by the tight end. He picks up major yards, and we tackle him after 17. Our quarterback has done really well. Six for seven, 137 yards. He's honestly played better than McConnell through the air, at least. McConnell's obviously doing a lot better on the ground at the moment. Quarterback's out here running. Mullins, though, is going to get what looks to be the third sack of the game by the defensive line. They've put a lot of pressure on the QB. I've mentioned a lot in previous videos, but I really believe this is the best defensive line we've had. Bobby Edwards in the middle. Jamal Patterson there as well. We have a lot of really smart and talented young players there in the defensive line. Eating our defense to come up big here. They're going with the halfback screen. We saw the whole time. We got plenty of guys there. No shot. They're getting that one. We'll take it. We don't normally show punt returns, but we got an opportunity for potentially a big one here. Jason Barr needs some level of redemption. It has been John McConnell carrying this offense play after play. We'll see what Barr can do here with a pretty deep punt. Get solid blocking, but the block is not good enough, and he goes nowhere. First and 10 again. Lying on the air. All the time in the world, and Tom Baker heard the footsteps. Back at it again on second down. Robert Roth turning on. Oh, Robert Roth is a speedster and he's showing it here as they push him out of bounds after 29. What a great reception way to turn it up the field. McConnell's hitting that stride now. The pass game is starting to click for him. The running game is starting to open up a little bit. We just have to play turnover free football and we're fine. Jason Barr trying to stretch it out to the edge here. He's got the speed. He tries to turn, but he just can't get right there. He gets to the five. Take what his team's going to give you. That's what we're trying to do right now. McConnell. Finds Robert Roth, who gets out to the edge. He's going to try to push himself in. He gets 17, getting inside the 30. One of the best things for a team is we have so much speed of receiver that a lot of teams are playing a little bit deep. And the curl routes have been open all day against Northwestern. We're going to continue to try to use those as much as we can. We got to get some blocking at the same time on some of these plays. Time play coming in here. Second and 14. All across the middle, who else but Jeremy Willis, who runs a dude over. He's six foot five, a million pounds, and he shows him about that action. This has been a wild ride of a game right now, but we have to close out this half strong. We need to not let them get any points. That is our goal right now. That is what we have to do. Northwestern knows we put up a lot of points very quickly. They've got to answer back. Two minutes left here in the first half. They're looking for anything. Their quarterback's trying to run, and we got Steven Lowe getting stiff-armed. Hemphill comes in with a big hit, but their quarterback picks up 17. That was a big opportunity to make a great play. It just didn't pan out. We're playing the pass the whole way here. The minute 44, you can't imagine they go with too many runs. But, I mean, who needs a run when you pass across the middle wide open like that? Their quarterback has been terrific today. Eight for nine, 154 through the air. He's got a touchdown to show for it as well. Can't be mad at what he's done. Okay, throw more passes like that. And we're nursing a one point lead here. Minute 28 left. A little adjustment here. We're actually going to switch our line to the left-hand side. They throw deep, and that one again is out of bounds and nearly hits a cheerleader. They've done well on third downs for the most part today. They are two for five on third downs. We need some of that good luck to continue right here on third and ten. Quarterbacks panicking, and Patterson is there having a monster game with another sack. I see the offensive line, and they are coming through. Big-time players made big-time plays. We got a one-point lead here. I believe they get the ball at the start of the next half, so we need to make sure we finish this half strong. You can tell McConnell was feeling it there. He's going to get that first down and slide properly. With oh, a hurry up offense here. McConnell again, ready to go. Right across the middle. It's Tom Baker who drops another wide open pass. It's a tough one. I mean, Baker's had a couple of big drops today. I don't know what's going on with him. But he's going to hold that one in. Tom Baker with the big catch. You don't give up on your primetime players. You do not give up on them. McConnell back at it again with Robert Roth who does drop him, but it's a hard hit. Even a field goal is big here because I guess it's a four point lead going into halftime, which again, be a W. Here's McConnell. A lot of time. He sees plenty of room in front of him. He's out of bounds. Smartly gets out of there and we're good to go again. Still two timeouts left. First down, a lot of people in the box. 
Trying to catch him off guard here. Bar. Okay. Okay. I don't hate that. We're going to call a timeout, though. One left. One left. Big police coming up. I'm just going to put Riley right here. Connell's got all the time in the world, hopefully. You never know with our offensive line. Just kidding. You don't. No, we had to get rid of that one if we did it. We got to call a timeout. No way. We felt good about what we had. Oh, we had enough time, but ultimately we didn't. So here we are. Connell trying to get to the edge. He can stretch it, and he's out of bounds smartly. We still, we're still good. Fourth and seven. Fourth down, seven yards to go. We get a first down. We're okay. We can clock it and be just fine. Connell's got a guy potentially. Throws it out of bounds. Oh, no, that was fourth down. I mean, we tried to throw the X, but he threw it out of bounds. It wasn't like an intentional one, but I guess better to throw it out of bounds and turn it over than actually physically turn it over with the pick. With the Westerns involved with 15 seconds left, I'm imagining they're going to run it out, but they're actually going to pass it. A little surprised, and they do get another first down. If one timeout left, we're playing a lot of our guys deep, just assuming they're going to try to go over the top. They go underneath on this one again. They got plenty of room, and now they get down to almost field goal range. One timeout, six seconds left. They're actually going to go for it here. I'm surprised. I thought they were going to clock it. Maybe a timeout, but they don't. Their quarterback's going to run. He's pulling a Dak Prescott. Don't tackle him until the time's almost over. Perfect. He pulled a Dak Prescott. We're fine. We're going to go into halftime with a one-point lead. Northwestern gets the ball back. Let's see what our defense can do. Hopefully, it's better than that last drive. Woo! Northwestern comes out here with the ball to start the second half. They abandoned the run a lot in that first half. Let's see if they come back to it here. This is a team that's honestly kind of built to run, especially with their QB, and they've got multiple running backs who can get it done. Them abandoning the run is the best thing we could possibly see. But in order to get them to abandon the run, we kind of sort of have to stop the run at this point. Third and short. They go with the play action. The QB is running. Oh my God, we, we literally can't tackle this guy. I hate everything. First down again, Northwestern's driving. We don't want them to have any momentum, but right now they got a whole lot of it. A whole lot of it. They're back at it again. QB by himself, so it's definitely a pass unless the QB decides to run, which we're also watching. We need that man to fumble at some point. No shot that dude's doing this to us. We have to get a stop. This is just unbelievable what they're doing to us right now. They go with the read option. They pitch this one to Steven Lowe, trying to catch up to the quarterback. Booker's going to get down after about six. Listen in one. Keep him one in a QB spot. They end up going with the run of the edge. We got a couple of guys there to meet him to make a third and short. Oh, my God. We need to stop here. They go with the toss to the edge. We had guys there, and we still... He broke it. He broke it. Oh, my God. The running game is coming alive for them. If you had taken a picture of all the guys we had there, I felt like it was a guaranteed stop. I was wrong. And then we let a dude named Chaz Booker get a touchdown. What are we doing here? No, I didn't pay attention, but they actually went for two there. So they have a seven-point lead now instead of just, again, being up a minuscule six points. They said bar. Okay. Let's just get the running attack going. So they got to respect that from us, too. Second is short. A lot of blitzes. We got Tom Baker who's actually going to hold on to one. Tom Baker, hold on a second. Tom Baker's out here showing his speed. Number 34, though, is stupid fast. 48 yards later, they finally catch him, but Baker caught one, and he went with it. The offense is showing a lot of explosiveness now. Northwesterners are known for running in and for passing in, or we're doing whatever. They have no idea. Fadden might not know what universe he's in. He's been going back with the run. Barr has plenty of room. Jason Barr is going to push forward. He's going to be down. It looks like the one or the two yard line. What a great run from him. On the goal line like this, you know what time it is. And the ball off. This time McFadden is going to be in though. Jason Barr, a little gas. McFadden is going to get the easiest touchdown of his career right there. He's a two yard touchdown run. And all of a sudden, it's game side up again. Now we're feeling a little ballsy right now. We're going to go for it again. This time Jason Barr is in running the same exact play. No shot. They see that coming and Barr goes in easy. So now we got a two point conversion. We got a one point lead. What are they going to do now? All right, team, this is your moment. Step up big, make some plays. Force a turnover, we need it right now. We need to stop. Oh my God, we got dudes getting pancake. Conley's our only hope right now. You're kidding me. What are we doing? We let a dude with two first names go for an 85 yard touchdown. No shot, this is happening. Oh, now they're going for two because, you know, we set the precedent. I don't even know what's happening right now. Our defense has been so bad. It's unbearable. Pressure on the quarterback. Okay, that's big. It's a five-point game now. So even a regular touchdown in points is a W for us. Mullen's got a whole lot of pressure there. You'd love to see it. Connell's going to have Jared Gold in motion. Who I don't think he even has a reception today. 
Kano immediately feels it and says, just go ahead and block for me, young fella. I'm out of bounds and I'm getting out there clean. Second and one. Takes the bar again, finding a little bit of traffic up the middle, goes for five. This has been a crazy game. Northwestern is always a really tough team for us. We've struggled against them year after year, and it's just, it's nothing different here. Bar's having a good game despite that fumble. I mean, over almost seven yards per carry. That's massive. Willis is looking like he's open, and I believe he has the first down, which he does. Connell battling so far today. I'm gonna try to get him with the read option. Great bait on that one. McConnell's got the first down and plenty more. We'll take that again. McConnell has put this team on his back. The defense has not had a great day, and he's just shown that it doesn't matter. Give him the Heisman right now. This dude is carrying the squad. While individual awards aren't really his thing, McConnell knows that if he wants that Heisman, this team has to be undefeated. Second and six, gold sliding in motion again. Pressure is real. McConnell is running for his life, and he's out of bounds on the first down again for seven more. Fadden spelling bar again. Again, we're trying to 50-50 split a lot. Keep these dudes fresh. Make sure that Northwestern has to prepare for both of these dudes. Dominating right now. McFadden with a big 15-yard run. Bar back in and running back. Looking like a halfback screen coming up. They're kind of sniffing it out, but Bar is crafty, and he's down at the one again. So close to getting in the end zone. Second and one. Actually, we're at the three, so we were kind of close, but not quite enough. Clayton McFadden comes in, though. Gets in for another easy, I mean, mostly untouched touchdown. Jason Barr is having a heck of a game, but Fat is reaping the benefits. And as long as we get the W, that's all that matters right now. The one-point game being like this, you already know what it is. We're going for a two-point conversion. And the play that has worked time and time again, patented by Mr. Marvin Derwin. It's going to be Jason Barr taking it to the edge, getting in the end zone. We're going to take that three-point lead. We need this defense to be able to stop the run game. We need a turnover force on defense ASAP. And honestly, that's not a bad start. That's not a bad start at all. You gotta see Bobby Edwards making a great play there in the backfield. Second and 11. Steven Lowe watching Phillips. They go for a halfback toss. We're trying to get our guys to the edge just to set the edge. That's all we have to do. We stopped him after three. Thomas is 120 rush yards. I mean, most of those came off that 85 yard run, but it is what it is. We're actually gonna drop a lineman in traffic, or excuse me, back in coverage to try to help out some. And we, no shot, he fell forward every single time. We've had this team on the ropes. They found some way to step up. I just know it's almost time for our defense to make a play. Like, you can just... Not on that play, but you can feel like it has to be coming. Our defense has done such a good job of bailing us out at different parts of the season, making massive plays when we need them the most. We just are currently not seeing where those plays are, but I would love to see them sometime soon. Well, we got a guaranteed pass play. QB's back there, but he obviously can still run. goes underneath we got some guys there it takes multiple people to tackle but we do stop him it's third down and eight can we get a stop please i'm begging you defense do your job underneath oh my god we may have we may have gotten a stop will they punt it though that's the question they are not going to punt it they're going for it here they're pinching our line they're going to bring a man over in motion we're watching the running backs out of the backfield Oh my God, Hemphill. Hemphill! Hemphill, one of the fastest players we ever really seen. Hemphill make a great play and he's done it. Hemphill cuts it back. Hemphill runs into his own man. He breaks the tackle. Put Hemphill on offense. Put him in the Hall of Fame. Retire this man's jersey. Mike Hemphill, what a play. Mike Hemphill, the true freshman. We knew he was going to be a playmaker. We just didn't know when. We asked and begged our defense for a play, and we finally got one. I mean, what an unreal play. And then there's Hemphill getting the tackle just now. Big-time players made big-time plays, and good God. Good God. Someone stepped up, and it was a true freshman, Hemphill. I'm blown away. What an unreal play. I mean, not only was the interception incredible. Oh, my God. Thank you, McCree. The interception was incredible, but the fact that he had that crazy return and broke tackles, mind-blowing. Third down and nine. And we get a stop here. They have to punt it if they don't convert this one. And they don't. Uh oh. Five minutes left. We got a 10 point lead. It's definitely more of a run heavy style game right now. Short passes, run heavy game. Let our guys eat. And Jason Barr is eating right now. The fumble in the first carry of the game was not ideal. Just as, you know, McConnell's interception that he threw was not ideal. But the way these two dudes have battled back since then is another sort of incredible. This is. Not a game that's over by any stretch of the imagination, but we're doing our best to try to help it be over. 
we're down four to go we actually done a really bad job of running the clock we didn't actually put conservative clock chewing on that might hurt us we do get the ball out of jason Barr, who's trying to turn up he stays in bounds and gets it 290 yards through the air one touchdown in the air but mcconnell's two touchdowns he had on the ground might have been some of the best he's ever had i genuinely believe that trying to get the ball under two minutes by the end of this drive that's our goal and to put points to the board obviously Switching up with a halfback screen. They actually don't see that one. Barr's got plenty of daylight in front of him. Gets the block. Jason Barr, one of the fastest players in college football. is trying to run 34. Is also a fast one. And he's down at the one again. He's like Lonnie Downs a couple of seasons ago where Lonnie kept getting down at the one. Barr goes 48 yards. He can't get in the end zone. 540 total yards of offense today. <laughs> Fadden's in. I kind of feel bad. I kind of feel bad at this point. Okay, McFadden doesn't get in. So maybe we'll see Barr come back in. McFadden's still in on this one. Second and goal. We'll run out to the edge, and yeah, McFadden's will get three brushy touchdowns today. You could argue they could have been Jason and should have been Jason Bars, but it's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. This game, honestly, we can thank two people. John McConnell, and you can say Mike Hempel is the other one. Those two dudes made plays that changed the course of this afternoon. If we somehow find a way to go undefeated this year, it's because those two players kept this season alive. This ball's going deep. John Hall can't get the catch, but he does deflect that with a second deflection of the game. Look, say what you will. John Hall has played really good football today. A couple of tackles. He's been honestly really good in coverage. I love what I'm seeing. Now this ball's going to go out here. Josh Cole's going to force him out and make it fourth and four. Play coming up. Fourth and four. Go for the dump off. We had no one covering him, apparently. And this dude's still running. Ball tries to get ahead of that one, and they get out of the... After 27 big yards. I applaud them for not giving up, but I mean... They have to score soon if they want to get this W. Down 17, minute and a half left. Oh, no. oh my God, what a big hit by Mullins. Mark Mullins has five tackles today, four of those being for a loss. I think two or three sacks overall. I mean, the man has just been a machine today. You love to see it. They go underneath again. Matthew Fowler's going to bring him down to the 41 this time, making third and eight. Third down, eight yards to go, a minute left. With Western trying to stay alive in this game. They go with a run up the middle. Who is calling this? Colin Moore. Fourth down and eight. Low and Cole covering the middle, playing the pass the whole entire way. A lot of pressure. They end up going to Golden. We, I look, I'd rather give the ball to Golden potentially in the open flat than go across the middle for a deeper play. Still, I'm like flabbergasted. We had nobody covering that one. Back in shotgun again. 48 seconds left. You can go to anybody. They go over here and they test John Hall with this. I think that should have been a third deflection, in my opinion, but they don't count it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Tests again. This one, I mean, Hall is all over the coverage right now. Someone's very Walton. We held them to be five or 13 on third down conversions. It feels like they get nearly every single one, but honestly, we've been better than we expected today. Baker watching the deep guys. They throw over here. Conley messed up. That was off the helmet of Hempel, who nearly had his second one, but that receiver bobbled one. Fourth and 10. Got to imagine this is not going to be easy for them. Playing the pass the whole way again. Shifting our line slightly. We're running a fake matchup zone. Got pressure with Mullins. He throws one directly into our guys. We're going to walk out of here with the W. Look at John Hall celebrate. He played one of his best games today, and I'm here for it. This game had us on pins and needles the entire time. I honestly, for a long time, didn't know if we could pull this one out. But McConnell, 338 through the air, 105 in the ground, three total touchdowns. Yes, the interception sucked. But what he did after that? Stuff of legends. Recapping the stats again, McConnell, 18 for 26, 338 yards, one passing touchdown. Not great. One interception, not great. But if you watch how he actually played, Unbelievable. The ground, Jason Barr chimes in with 104 yards and some extra yards there in crunch time, uh, but no touchdowns for him. McConnell goes 105 yards and 12 attempts for two touchdowns. See Clay McFadden go 10 for 25 and three touchdowns again. You can really bump those touchdowns up to Jason Barr because he's the one that deserved them and led those drives. But you know what? A touchdown's a touchdown. And I think as long as we got the W, that's what matters. In the air, Tom Baker had some, a couple of crazy plays, especially that 48-yarder, 4 for 93 for him. We see Jeremy Willis go 4 for 82, getting our only passing touchdown today. Uh, Jason Barr, 4 for 67. We see Robert Roth with 3 for 55, and RJ Riley, 3 for 41. Again, we'll get these guys a little bit more involved in the passing game soon, but for now, I'm not mad at how they played. Defensive player of the game, though, goes to Mike Hempel by far. Six solo tackles for him, one interception for 85 yards. That was a crazy run back that ended up being a touchdown. What a play.
but that's off to our defensive line as well they came to play this afternoon jason caps had two total sacks today uh we see mark mullins chime in with two jamal patterson had one josh cole had one and also mark mullins had four tackles for loss the dude was out there and let's not forget about john hall who they say he had two deflections i counted four in my opinion but he had two we see one by conley one by ray walton Yes, we had some issues in coverage early on in the game, but in the second half, we played so much better. It was unbelievable. Felt like a different team. We are enjoying the final season here in Mervyn McMurvin Memorial Stadium. And look, it's been a great one. It's been a fantastic stadium for us. And our goal is to not lose a single game this season, especially at home. We want to show our fans that, look, we're going out with a bang. We're trying to go national title or bust. And the way this team's playing, I'm starting to feel like we got a chance. Be safe, be smart, tell somebody you love them. Catch you guys on the next one.